Hi, my name is Mathieu Girard, I'm senior producer on Ruse and I'm very excited to have you beta test the game. The dev team has worked very hard to bring you an excellent strategy game, one that we believe will be a true revolution in the strategy genre. But enough talking, let's check out the game. The first thing you're going to notice is how big Ruse is. You're going to play on map of unprecedented scale, but yet they still show a high level of detail. To navigate these huge battlefields, you can translate the view using the screen borders or pressing the keyboard arrow keys. You can zoom in and zoom out using the mouse wheel up and down. And finally, you can change the angle of the camera, pressing the mouse wheel and moving the mouse around. We give you the tools that any general needs to lead massive armies. A simple click on the top left game icon is going to open the production menu, giving you access to a wide range of choices. The first thing you need to do is to capture supply dumps, the yellow buildings scattered around the map. First, click on the supply depot in the production menu under the bulldozer graphic, and then click again on a nearby supply dump to validate the construction of the depot. For the construction of this or any other building in the game, a supply truck is sent to build the structure. Once it is built, supply trucks are going to move from the depot to your base, giving you credits, allowing you to build more units or structures. Building deployment completed. Bear in mind that construction and supply trucks are very weak and can be intercepted by the enemy. But you can turn that to your advantage. You can harass the enemy to outflank him using guerrilla tactics and cut off his economy. What's also great about Ruse is its freedom and the amount of possibilities it offers. When you open the production menu, you can start with any production facility you want. You want to rush with panzers? Build an armor factory. You want to control the skies? Build an airfield. You are not limited to a linear tech tree and you can place a production facility anywhere on the map as long as it's not intercepted by the enemy. Click on the production facility icon in the production menu, then click again on the terrain to validate the construction. Once it is built, click on the units you want to produce, validate again on the terrain to send the order. Unit production in progress. With this system, you can build units from anywhere on the map and it gives you instant access to 200 different unit types and six different factions. Ruse is also a game of perception and more specifically of deception, meaning that your opponent's view of reality can be altered by acts of intelligence and treachery. Those acts are the ruses which give the game its name. What you see on the battlefield is not limited to a simple fog of war as you see what is going on on the enemy's side, or at least part of it. The large ships represent heavy units, while the small ships represent infantry or light units. By watching their movement, you can guess what the enemy is going to do. But this perception can be altered when you activate a ruse. In the ruse menu, you get access to a list of 10 different ruses, and the ruse counters tell you how many more you can activate. For instance, you can use the spy plan to identify enemy units moving towards your base, you can also use radio silence to make your units disappear from his view and surprise attack like him. You can create an army of decoy units so that he wastes some time trying to destroy wooden units. And you can also decrypt to visualize his orders and anticipate his moves. Report from recon, we found an enemy supply line. What could be better for a general than to anticipate what is going on in the head of his enemy? The last element I want to tell you about is the combat, as there will be plenty of it while you play. Assigning an order to your unit is very simple. Left click on the unit or stack of units, and then left click again on the target destination of units. When you select an enemy unit, a small pop-up appears telling you if the combat is going to be easy or very dangerous. When a unit is stressed, you see that in the form of smoke, fire or loss of squad members. Each unit has a self-preservation mechanism, which makes it retreat when it gets pounded too hard. After spending some time out of combat, a unit will regroup, regain its strength and be ready to fight again. Each unit type, as classified in the production menu, is more or less efficient against other units. Infantry is destroyed by tanks, 
tanks can be destroyed by anti-tank guns, which are vulnerable to bombers, which can be shot down by fighters, fighters being destroyed by AA guns, finally destroyed by infantry. There is also a very important concept which modifies this food chain. The environment can be used as a weapon. For instance, forests can make your light units invisible and ambush the enemy, and city blocks can limit sight and block gunfire. Zoom in close to the terrain to place your units precisely and gain an advantage. Infantry units taking cover inside a city square will easily destroy a passing by tanks when they come to close combat. How do you win the game? At the end of the time limit, the player with the highest score wins the match. You gain score by destroying enemy units. The more valuable the enemy unit, the more score you get. You can always compare your score to the score of your opponents, so that you may change the outcome of the battle. Unit reports heavy fire. I hope you have fun with the beta, and keep in mind that the content will evolve with new maps and factions as the beta advances. Your feedback is critical to make this the best game possible. Thank you for your attention.